as uh, I'm going to show you to do some uh, simple lip sync here. I'm going to be animating this guy saying this. Oops. Well, we knew you were gay, so grab thank a mason you. jar. He, he's going to be saying, "Grab that mason jar." Okay, so grab thank a mason you. jar. So grab a mason you. jar. And uh, the other guy kind of talks over him right here. Okay, so grab a mason you. jar. But grab a mason. Um. So right now I'm on frame six thousand four hundred and nine, uh, and and this is all one long audio file. So I kind of, since this is inside of a movie clip, I just have to bring it to that um, spot on the timeline. But uh, if you if you're just working with a normal size sound, then you can just start animating. So I'm adding a bunch of frames and just bringing it to that frame that it was on. So we haven't actually started the lip sync yet. Six four zero nine. Right there. And this is what we're doing. Okay, so grab the mason you. jar. Okay. So take the mouth that you're gonna be animating, it should be on its own layer obviously. Oh. And make it a graphic. Okay. And uh, the reason we're not going to make it a movie clip is because with a graphic, you can do this. With the, in the properties panel, set it to a single frame, and then whatever frame you want. So now, inside the, uh, inside the mouth graphic, we can just make a bunch of frames and just on the other timeline we can tell it which frame to go to and that'll be the mouth um, okay so when you're doing this uh, style of lip sync basically everything is A's, T's and O's so right now this is my A mouth and I don't actually think we're gonna need a T but um, I don't know is this the right size? Yeah. Oops. You, I'm sure you can. I'll show you how to draw an O after. I don't think we're gonna need an O. It's just A's and T's. It's really simple though. You actually, it's just mostly A's. Every, every bit of uh, lip sync. When you do it like this, you just open and close the A. So that's A, and then the way I do it is you take the starting frame and the ending frame and you just do one in between so you for each different uh, type of mouth A, T, O you just need one in between from the mouth it was coming from Since uh, since I'm only using this mouth for a bit, I'm not making sure that it's totally perfect. But uh, if you're gonna make like a character model, you'd want the mouths to look, you know, probably a little bit nicer than this. But uh, this is the A, and I'll just I'll just start lip syncing it right now. Now that I have the mouths drawn, go to my timeline, find the sound. So grab a mason jar. Grab a mason jar. Okay. So. Make a keyframe, click the mouth, go down to the properties, I'll just tell it to go to two. And then I'll make a keyframe, tell it to go to three, and then to close it I'm just going to copy two and one, paste, and reverse. Grab mason jar. I'm going to copy this. Now I have him opening his mouth. And now I can just adjust the size and the spacing. Grab that mason jar. Grab that mason. So grab that mason jar. And you can do it on singles if you want. You can do it on doubles. I'm gonna try it on doubles right now. Grab that mason jar. Grab that mason jar. Grab that mason jar. So right here he goes into T. 
Grab Thank a mason you. Grab Thank a mason you. Grab that. Thank you. Grab that. Grab that. Okay. Grab a mason jar. Grab Thank a mason you. jar. Grab Thank mason. you. Now, I'm going to draw the mouth in T. The T is always a little bit um, more closed than the A. So I'm going to make it like a little bit smaller. And then uh, from the closed mouth, I'm just going to copy it in, or paste it in, um, so that I can do the in-between. Oh wait, actually, He's going from the A to T, so I don't need that. But uh, the copying in the first frame to do an in-between is something you should already know how to do. It's not rocket science. Basically, you just draw the mouths as you need them in, in the graphic, and then um, you can use them whenever you want. So now on four and five, I have going from A to T. So grab that mason jar. So I'll make a keyframe, tell it to go to four, make a keyframe, tell it to go to five. Grab that mason jar. Grab that mason So he says mason. And um, if you don't understand how to lip sync, like which mouths to choose, it's basically just a matter of practice. But for the most part, like just watch other people's cartoons and, and look to where they're doing the mouths. I find you can get away with like mostly just A's. You could just copy and paste A. Grab a mason jar. Mason jar. So he says jar. I'm just going to let it, let the T stay there for an extra frame. He opens up A. I'll copy uh, 2, copy, and now 1. So now look. So grab that mason you. jar. Okay, that doesn't look quite right. Grab that mason jar. Grab that mason jar. Grab that mason jar. Um... Thank mason jar. Here's grab that mason jar. Grab that mason jar. Grab that mason jar. Like, since this is such a long script, it's not going to waste too much time on the lip sync of one little thing. Because the normal person would never notice. Grab that mason jar. But uh, he, he says jar and his mouth should close. So I'm just going to add. Instead of using this frame, I'm going to modify that frame to something that's a little bit more closed. So I'll paste it and then use it as a reference. So I'm just going to close his mouth a little bit more. Six. Er, I have to also delete the reference. Yeah, you just you basically just make mouths as you need them, but for the most part, you just want to open and close the mouth. Mason jar. So this would be frame six. Mason jar. Here. So grab that mason you. jar. Here. Here's mason jar. That was fine. There you go. 
Okay, so grab thank a you. mason jar. Okay. Grab thank a you. mason jar. So okay. now what I'd normally do is, you know, I could animate his eyes doing a little bit, animate his head maybe, and then I'd go back to, uh, whoops. I can delete the frames <laughs> that I was using to line it up. Oh, wow. That's a lot of frames. Oh, whoops. Normally you wouldn't have to do this, but in case you do, I'm just showing you how. So now we have the head, which is a movie clip, and it has the mouth inside of it, like so, moving. And then if we needed to, we could move the head around, and the mouth will uh, stay the same. Like, you won't have to then animate the mouth in a different spot. Like, the mouth's already animated. Um... So that's about it, and then I'll, I'll show you the finished draft.